How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Whiskier. We are about to head into another liquor store, one that I have not been into yet. But before we go inside, I have big news. Big announcement. Whiskier is now a part of the Whiskey Raiders. Link in the description below for those of you that don't know what Whiskey Raiders is. Basically the rotten tomatoes for all things bourbon, whiskey, scotch, you name it. It's a website where we post reviews, people write anything. It's just great. They give it an overall rating. It's fantastic. Now they reached out about a month ago and said, hey, we really love your content. We'd love for you to be a part of the team. Now partnering up with them, there's going to be even more bourbon hunts, even more reviews. It's just an awesome time. I'm going to keep that link in the description. So now we're about to head into this store, Old Ranch Liquors, but that's the big announcement. And it's all thanks to you guys, okay? I'm going to be able to do this full time once my military contract's up. Thanks to you. But let's head inside here. I'm super excited. I love going into new stores that I haven't been to. So we'll see you in there. All right, so now we're inside of the store. We got to browse the shelves a little bit, talk about some of the products they have, and now we're gonna show you and recommend some of the things, and there's something on the shelf here that I, I wanna come home with me. So first off, the Dexter Weed. I know anytime I see one, I'm gonna talk about it just because they're not the easiest bottle in the world to find, but they are so good, so consistent. $69.99 for this. Um, it's not a typical super sweet weeded whiskey like your Weller products or the Makers. However, this is just darker, a little bit more of a rich flavor and coming in at 100.6 proof. And the next up, one that I was, uh, I feel like I don't talk about enough in the Penelope lineup, but I think deserves everything, is the Penelope Architect. So it's French oak staves, but on the back, if you look, it's kind of like a Makers, um, how Makers, there's different stave profiles that make up a lot of their whiskey, but this one itself, if you see on the back has more, like not as much fruit on the nose, a little more oak on the nose, vanilla, and mostly the fruit on the palate. So this sounds like something that I would really enjoy, that sweet fruitiness on a palate. And again, for $63, this is something that you should have on your shelf. I compare this a lot to kind of the similar flavor profile of like a, a Weller 107 would give you. This comes in at 104 proof. 63.49, and then along with it the penelope barrel shrinks are also super good they're always classic for a few dollars more 67 you're getting something at 113 for it you just can't go wrong with anything penelope now one that i don't have on my shelf and have never tasted yet is the lux road distillers um it's a double single barrel and this is a weeded and a rye barrel so the only thing about this it's not a bad price it's 80 dollars for what it is, it seems really unique. It's a four grain mash bill, but I don't know anything about this or flavor profiles. So for those of you that have had some of this or would you recommend it, let me know. I've been seeing them a little more often on some shelves, but pretty cool to see that they have it here. And then if you look on top of them too, they again have some of those barge towns that I have no clue. That's kind of where you step up in price for 165 for both of those. And then right next to a Jack Daniel Sinatra, of course, those are, not as hard to find as they used to be. I'm starting to see them a little more tonight because, might be because of the price tag for Jack Daniels, even though Jack Daniels has been making killer products. So if you've had Sinatra, I've tasted it. I think it's okay, but there's definitely better Jack Daniels products out there besides that. Now look at this, Rod and Hammer Slow Stills. They're a distillery out of California from what I've been told by the owners here. However, the people that make this, they're all a, a group of Australian guys got together. They opened a distillery. So they have this cash shrink bourbon and then their straight bourbon. Now, one thing I want to point out though, for a cash shrink bourbon, $43. I don't think you're finding a cash stream for much cheaper and out of what I'm assuming is a craft distillery. Not only do they have these, but they have some pre-made cocktails like your old fashioned, your Manhattan, and they have ready to drink hands. Um, which is pretty awesome too. So the distillery themselves, even though they're craft, they're kind of branching out, making a bunch of different products. But this cash drink bourbon is one that just really caught my eye because it's only $43. Would like to taste this. So you might come home. We'll see. We'll see. Now I see that they have the two Garrison brothers up here. Garrison brothers that are a little bit higher price. $199 for the one on the left, $149 on the right. Texas whiskey is uh Kind of hit or miss for me. I've really, really been enjoying a bottle of still awesome calf shrink that I have. The only issue that I run into here being in Colorado is it's not the easiest bottle to find. I think I'd have to drive up to Denver, maybe total wine to get one of those. So just super cool to see another Texas distillery here, but I don't know. They're they're really nice looking bottles. I've just never really had those from the Garrison lineup. And then under here as well, New Loop, 
you have their small batch. So this is a French oak and this is the reserve. The thing that I like about Nulu is they're truly, when they say small batch, it is a pretty darn small batch, but they like to bottle everything as, so whenever they dump all these barrels, not really watering stuff down, for example, the French oak small batch comes in at 106.2, and then the small batch reserve comes in at 111 per. 73 and $83 for those. I love Nulu, y'all know that. It's something that I've always enjoyed. You have to go with this, okay? Any of you really, really, this is a heavy bottle. This is heavy for you. I was sent a sample of this, uh, Devil's River. It's an agave bourbon. I really enjoy tequila, I really enjoy bourbon, so I would think that I would really like this. Um, I wasn't crazy over it, but for $31, I think it's something pretty unique to at least have on your shelf um, to tell people like, oh yeah, this is, if you like tequila, you like bourbon, try this, but not for me. But they do have it here. This is the first store that I've seen have this here. One thing we gotta talk about, I've never seen anything from this company, Filmland Spirit, says they're out of Los Angeles, but the labels on these are like classic movie posters. They just look really, really cool. So this is a small batch straight bourbon, um, white American oak, produced on location in Kentucky, and this is 94 proof, price tag at $54.99. I think this is more for the label maybe, um, being a little lower proof, but this is a beautiful bottle. And if it's Kentucky whiskey, it's probably gonna be pretty decent as well. I've just never seen these before, so that's really cool that they have them here. So another thing I wanna talk about is 291 Colorado Springs local distillery. But what, um, obviously you could see the selection here that they have, but one thing I wanna talk about that I feel like goes untalked about too much, they're white dog. This was so good. 101 proof, they proof it down a little bit, but oh my gosh, it's awesome. And then they have the fresh. So what's really cool about them is they use their white dog a lot in their distillery to make different cocktails and they're phenomenal cocktails. Some of the best, which is crazy. You wouldn't think that a white dog or anything like that proof down would just be good. Normally the white dogs I've had are just grainy. These are so sweet. They make a great cocktail. Really, really, these need to be talked about a little more. $48.99 and $40.99 for the fresh. And one thing I want to point out World Whiskey Society, they have their 10-year, which uh, first store I've seen the 10-year World Whiskey Society, and a little bit to the right, if you back up just a little, $89.99, they have all their Art of the Spirits picks. They have a Frogman, they have a Ruby Port as well. They said they really love the Ruby Port. I'm a big fan of everything Art of the Spirits, so they have plenty of it here. If you're as big as a fan as I am, or you've been wanting to try it, pretty awesome price for $89.99 for their store pick here at the store. Coors makes a whiskey. Well, they just came out with the Barrel Proof Five Trail Coors Whiskey. This is a obviously this is their small batch, 56. This is a little higher, around the $70 price range, $75 price range. But this has to come home with me, all right? Coors, you're in Colorado. They didn't even know they made their own whiskey until recently, and now they have a Barrel Proof coming in at 116.2 proof. Super pumped that they had these here. So this is the one of three stores in the local area that carries these two bottles from Copper Sky. This comes in at $84 for the Copper Accord, and again for the Fallen Heroes Edition bottle. 115 proof for this one, 115 proof for this one as well. Pretty cool, only one of three stores, and they still have these available. Now we're gonna talk about the most allocated thing in the entire store, only comes out once a year, Bell Scout cookies. Liquor store where you can grab your favorite whiskey and your favorite cookies can't be beat. All right, I'm gonna grab two of these. All right, y'all, so we just finished up at the liquor store. It was absolutely fantastic. What a great selection. The store owners were so nice, so cool, so great to Jaren and I. Also, shout out to Jaren drinking a Shamrock Shake from McDonald's right now. Um, big thanks to Jaren, though, for always filming, being in the videos, the live streams. It's been great having him. And, uh, but yeah, man, that, that was such a cool store. For it being only open not even two years, I think. Maybe they just hit two years. They had a great selection. More stuff to come for them, but um, walked away with something today from that store. I wasn't really expecting to, but we got this. This five trail from Coors. Coors Distiller, yeah, the beer company, makes their own whiskey, but their barrel proof just came out. Bold and uncut. Blended American whiskey. We're bourbon drinkers. Of course, I'm buying beer from Coors Light. Let's get a little taste test, see what this tastes like. Coors Light made their own whiskey. Let's get a little taste test. This is what we bought today at the store. See what this tastes like. Cheers. Smells great. Smells really good, actually. That's good. Very, very impressed with this. Real quick, too. Along with whiskey being part of Whiskey Raiders, what can you expect? Hmm. Let's just say 
a lot more giveaways to come. The stag announcement is coming soon. We did pick a random winner. That person has been reached out to. I'm just waiting for them to reach back out to me. We'll make the official announcement. As always, thank you for watching Whiskey. We'll see you in the next one.